Hello friends, this is Rezorat from Radacad. In this video, I want to share a really simple trick that you can apply on your Power BI semantic model and take it to the next level with little effort. Uh, you can make it much better, especially answering Q&A questions and co-pilot questions. Let's see how it works. If you have worked with Power BI, you know that we have the Q&A feature. This feature, we have it, we had it in Power BI desktop since pretty much like 2016 or 2017. Then it's been added to Power BI service a little bit after that. Uh, these days we can use it everywhere. It is generally available. The Q&A also answers to Spanish questions. That feature is not generally available yet, but English questions that it can definitely answer that. The way that it works is that you have a Power BI semantic model like the one that I have here um, with um, tables, relationships. It might even have calculations. And what you do, you ask questions. This uh, this is the Q&A visual that when you add it inside Power BI, it is considered one of the AI visuals. When you add it inside the Power BI uh, report, you can ask questions. It comes up with some predefined questions or you can ask your own question. For example, here I can ask something such as sales amount and it already knows that sales amount is a field in my semantic model. It shows me total sales amount and I can say sales amount by, um, for example, titles um, as column. And it will show me a column chart of sales amount by different titles, just like that. When you build this visual, you can then click on this button to convert it to a standard visual. Once it is a standard visual, you'll do all the configuration that you do in a normal visual. So this is Q&A, nothing uh, strange about it. It really works simply based on the field names and table names that you have inside your semantic model. So whatever t field name and table name you have, it uses that to, uh, to do that uh, analysis. Not only that, it also considers the relationship between tables. You see we have tables and relationships uh, and all DAX calculations is also considered in that. So the way that it works is that it's a natural language processing uh, system that when you ask your question in English language, it tries to com convert that to a language that the Power BI visual understand, the Power BI semantic model understand, and it shows you the result. Now to get this working even better than this, you need to apply some um, something we call it synonyms, which makes it much better. For example, here you saw that when I asked some of sales amount by title, it showed me that. But what if I delete this and if I ask something like this? If I say, for example, um, let's say instead of sales amount, I ask for revenue, revenue by title. Now you see it generates some kind of response, but it's not really the response that I'm looking for. Uh, it is list of titles. Um, it's not really the revenue of those titles. What I'm really looking for is something like sales amount by title. Now the reason that this Q&A visual is not able to pick this up is because revenue is not the name of the field that I have. I have sales amount. And it is typical that you have a field that can have multiple meanings. Sales amount might be considered as revenue in some departments, fee as another in another department. So that is where synonyms is helpful. To define a synonym, we'll go inside the model view. Inside the model view, you click on tables or fields, whatever you want. In this case, I'll go and click on the field itself. Here is the sales amount field. Uh, and I can go and add synonyms. You see uh, this field has a name, a description, and a section for synonyms. Here you can add as many as values, comma separated you want, and it works really simple. So if I want to add revenue here, it would be just adding revenue. Uh, the, last, the last word doesn't need a comma after that, and that's it. Now that I have defined it, when I go there, and let's remove this, add this visual again, I'll go and add Q&A, and this time I ask revenue by title. 
and here you go so you see that I have different titles and the revenue of that which is the sales amount so this is able to pick that up really simple trick but very helpful and this uh, synonyms you can add as many as synonyms as, as you want add them comma separated uh, it's not only for the field it is also helpful for the table so if I remove the revenue from here let's say um, and I go back to the report still is not working now if I add the Q&A and I can ask even questions like this I can say uh, details of all sales so this is able to pick this up and show me the entire sales table transaction right so it is considered as that but in, if instead of this I ask for because the table name is sales if I go and ask a Q&A and say instead of details of sales let's say I would say details of revenue and I have removed that revenue from synonym of that field you see this is not able to pick it pick up anything so what I'll do is I'll go to the model view again this time I'll go and select the table the sales table you see that even the table has synonyms I can add something like revenue here and as soon as I do that, when I go back to the report, this should be able to pick that up or I can just remove it, add it one more time because it would be faster when you ask the question from scratch. So I'll do and say revenue uh, or let's say details of revenue so that I get all the sales transactions just like that. So here you see that a simple action like this a simple action of adding synonym in your model how it can help uh, to get your q a working now with the rise of copilot this has become much easier in the copilot if you ask words that are somehow similar to this uh, even without synonyms it would work but still with that I would suggest to add your own synonyms because when you add your own synonyms even if there's a scenario that copilot doesn't <coughs> doesn't understand that relationship of that word with the term you are looking for uh, still it works because you have it as a synonym copilot first look at the synonyms then it would look at all the uh, similar values that it has in copilot's large language model library so a really simple tip i hope you enjoyed this and i hope you go and use it if you have any questions feel free to put that in the comments below i'm Rita Rad, and uh, if you like subscribe to our power bi and uh, AI and Microsoft Fabric channel. Until the next video, bye.